Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about type of traffic signals and different type of traffic signal systems. So, talking about the variety of traffic signals that are available, more or less it can be divided into uh, three categories. The first is the fixed signal type, second is the vehicle actuated type, and the third one is the semi vehicle actuated type. So let us first of all discuss about the fixed signals and the vehicle excited type. So in fixed signals, as the name suggests, these signals are fixed. This means that they have a fixed cycle period. They have a fixed cycle period. What does this fixed cycle period mean? This means that there will be a fixed time allotted to red light. There will be fixed time allotted to amber light. and uh, Likewise, for green light also, there will be a fixed time, right? So, let's say 15 seconds is for red light and 30 seconds is for green light and 5 seconds is for amber light. So, this is a fixed parameter. Irrespective of what the condition on the road will be, these cycle time will be fixed. Even if there is no vehicle on the road, they will be 15 seconds of red light. While in the vehicle executed type of traffic signals, we have flexible cycle period. What we have? We have vehicle uh, uh, flexible cycle period. This means that for red light, for amber light, as well as for green light, the cycle period may vary. So, if there is too much uh, traffic on the road, so the traffic signals will adjust accordingly and we, uh, or they may optimize accordingly so as to ensure the less amount of waiting time as well as the safe passage of vehicles along the road system. Alright, so in fixed signals we have the fixed cycle period while in vehicle acuity type we have flexible cycle period that is the green time may vary and related to the actual demand in the practical traffic scenario. <clears throat> now, what are the advantages of a fixed signal type? Simple. First of all, it is the simplest form of uh, traffic signals and it is inexpensive. Of course, like you install a traffic sign, uh, sorry, you install a traffic signal and simply allow a time period. So, no supervision is required. The traffic signal will work accordingly irrespective of what the road condition, uh, the traffic condition is. The signals will work as per the allotted time period. These are inexpensive in nature compared to the vehicle accurate type. While the advantage of vehicle accurate type is that they are Adaptive in nature. The vehicle activated type of traffic signals are adaptive in nature. This means that depending upon the practical scenario, whatever is the road condition is, these type of traffic signals adjust itself. The second is that they work on the minimum delay principle and maximum capacity. Of course, like if let's say uh, in a in a road section, in a road section, there is very less amount of uh, traffic, right? So in that case, we the traffic signal will allow them to pass if there is no traffic on the other section of the road. While in fixed type, if there is no traffic in the other section of the road, but and very less traffic on a section of the road, then still they have to wait because there, there might be a red light. For the fixed duration. So, the advantages of vehicle accurate type is that they are adaptive to the traffic condition and uh, they cause minimum delay and have maximum capacity, like maximum amount of vehicles can pass the uh, road section in a unit time. The disadvantage of fixed uh, traffic signals is that it causes unavoidable delay and uh, we have to be very careful in uh, give, allotting the time for the respective lights. The disadvantage of uh, vehicle accurate is that 
it use detector so the cost is high and uh, like poor signal coordination system is there what does it this mean <coughs> so cost is it's like very well we can visualize that in fixed type since uh, we have a fixed cycle time for each light so uh, unavoidable delay uh, can be there right so we have discussed just now that in a intersection if there is no vehicle uh, on the road right especially in the night time around uh, 2 am uh, or 3 am where usually there is uh, little to no, no traffic on the road but uh, so if you are passing from this section of the road and you are the only vehicle right and there is uh, being a fixed signal there will be a red light for a certain period of time there might be a red light for a certain period of time so in that case you still have to wait when you observe by yourself that the whole of the uh, there is no no uh, traffic on the uh, on the road uh, but still you have to wait because there is red light well i am giving the example in the extreme condition for better visualization okay so unavoidable delay is a is a common scenario in fixed type of traffic signals and we have to be very careful in setting uh, the or allotting the time period for red light for amber as well as for green light because there might be like say there is a major road creating a minor road and we so uh, this major road has lot of traffic volume that passes in a unit time and we allot too much of the red time and too little of the green time so in that scenario what will happen is that there will be the queue time will increase in this road section right so we have to uh, and since it's a it's a fixed time so whatever we have allotted that will remain fixed right the traffic signal will work on that time period only right so we have to be very careful while giving the uh, uh, allotting the uh, the respective timing for the for the traffic light <clears throat> and of course in your vehicle accurate so to assess the flexibility to assess the traffic scenario there is certain certain equipment certain software that are installed in the traffic signal there is constant updation with respect to the uh, technology as well as the uh, maintenance of the equipment so that increases the overall cost of the of the traffic signal this accurate type of traffic signal and there is a poor signal co coordination this means that suppose there is an there is a road network like this right there is a no road ne network like this where we have traffic signals installed in the different intersections so here let's say this is a minor road uh, this is major road this is also a major road this is a major road so as in when a vehicle is traveling in this road section in a major road so of course traffic volume is high and here the traffic volume is less so here the waiting time is there here red light might be there and and green light for this road section is uh, increased by this uh, by this traffic signal and the vehicles are allowed to pass this highway so that the delay is less and the capacity is maximum however the scenario in this road intersection is different here also the there is uh, like the higher amount of traffic volume that is passing through the road intersection and likewise here uh, the traffic from this uh, uh, road is also coming so in that case here they may get uh, like favorable green time but here in this uh, in this intersection they might not get that right so a pro proper coordination between the traffic signals is not there so that is again a, a limitation of uh, like the the accurate type of traffic signal okay so these are like <coughs> two major type of traffic signals we have fixed signals and we have vehicle accurate type of traffic signals and then we have another category called as semi vehicle accurate type of traffic signal which is uh, like as the, as we can very well understand is a middle of these two the fixed as well as vehicle accident so here we have option either to, uh, like, to move from fixed to accurate or accurate to fixed and these type of traffic signals like since we we have the option so this has certain advantage that in case of uh, junctions or intersections 
where the side street is having low traffic volume with the main street having the heavy flow these can be uh, the mode can be switched right so like now, like this now we have discussed here that there can be a multiple uh, uh, like intersection in a in a road section where different kind of traffic is moving all across so in that case like the if the traffic policeman observes that the uh, like the flexible mode is not feasible or is not working efficiently with respect to the overall uh, length of the road then he may switch to fills and based upon his experience or based upon the pre set uh, uh, timing the fixed mode can be applied likewise uh, the same can be reversed in the different scenario right so it's a it's a primary vehicle accurate tries to give the benefit of both while covering the limitations of both type of traffic signals disadvantage causes high accident rate at time of low traffic right it causes high accident rate at time of low traffic why because again uh, there is a switch uh, between two different mode of traffic uh, traffic uh, signal type right so this may cause a certain kind of confusion during the uh, certain time right and because of this there can be a chance of accident all right so these are three types of traffic signals the three types are fixed vehicle excited and semi vehicle excited now let us talk about the type of coordinated signal system let me first of all explain what does this mean and how does it differ from the uh, type of traffic signals so in the type of traffic signals we were discussing about in the individual traffic signal we were talking about the individual traffic signals while in the coordinated system we are talking about how the traffic signals in a stretch of road in a stretch of road may be working okay how a traffic signal in a stretch of road may be working so we may have a a length of road or intersection we may have a length of road that has multiple intersection right so how these traffic signals how these traffic signals work together in the in the study length of the road so that is uh, when we study the combined functioning of the traffic signals installed in the certain section of the road that is what we call as the coordinated traffic signal system so in this the first one is the simultaneous system the first one is the simultaneous system also called as the synchronized system so in a simultaneous system what happens is all the traffic signals have the same light all the traffic signals will have the same light so as time t all the traffic signals in the study length will have the same light all right so if there is at time equal to t there is a red light in signal 1 so in signal 2 also there will be a red light so likewise if there is another traffic signal in the in the same length of the road then that will also so also show a red light okay so all the vehicles if any vehicle is at time t all will face a red light all right so in simultaneous traffic signal system all signals along a given street always display same indication to same traffic stream at same time correct all signals along the along the study study lens we show same light at any specific time the advantage is that it is simply it is the simplest form of uh, like setting the coordinated system by while the disadvantage is that uh, non conductive to give continuous movement of all vehicles so, so here what happens is like too much waiting time is observed a vehicle in a in a study study length will face too much waiting time across the length of the study section the second is that it encourages 
the speeding between stops. So, a regular commuter knows that at uh, this point of time there will be a red light, and as soon as an amber indication is there regarding the red, the upcoming red light, so the vehicle may speed up and try to surpass this uh, um, uh, this red light, right? So it encourages the speed uh, the the over speeding in this study section. So if as soon as the vehicle moves, uh, since uh, the red light is at a specific duration, so in the next intersection, the vehicle will try to overspeed and try to cross this red light or cross the amber light before the red light pops up. And it is difficult for side speed vehicles for turning or crossing the main side street. So basically, uh, it's a, like a fixed signal system, right? All will show the same type of lightning at a specific point of time, right? So in case there is, uh, like we have discussed the six signal, there, there is a main road and there is a minor road, and likewise there can be multiple roads. So in that case, uh, the uh, crossing and turning and maneuvering in the fixed signal becomes uh, like a, a hectic task. So these type of traffic signal systems are used in like uh, where the traffic volume is not that high. Right? In case there, there, there is too much variation in the traffic volume at a certain point of time, there is too much peak our volumes uh, in in different uh, in a short time intervals. So in that case, these type of uh, traffic signal systems are avoided. So in a middle to uh, low traffic volume, uh, these will work efficiently. Then we have alternated traffic signal system. We have alternate traffic signal system also called as limited progressive system. In this system, what happens is that alternate traffic light will be observed. So, if a traffic signal at point of at time t is at time t is showing the red light, so in the next traffic signal, there will there will be a green light, and in the next there will be red light. So alternate red, green, red, green like this it works. So there is alternate traffic lightning system. So in alternate system, the consecutive signal solution show contrary indication at same time. Contrary indication means that they will have alternate traffic lighting system. So one will have red, the next will show green, the next will show red at a time t. Now these type of uh, traffic uh, coordination system will work efficiently when we have uh, the uh, study length of like equal dimensions. This means that uh, the uh, the the study stretch the study stretch is of equal length, reaching from one uh, like the the intersection length is of same dimension. So this ensures that if there is uh, uh, the time period taken to reach from after one red light to uh, green light to or the uh, from one intersection to next intersection the chances are that uh, the driver will face a green light that is the idea like all the intersections are of same same uh, same length so the idea is that if a driver is, is facing a green light in one intersection, he may face a green light in the next intersection and likewise he, uh, the driver may sail through. Or if there is a red, red light in one intersection, the, he will face red light in the next interse intersection or, and then uh, the uh, red light in the another intersection. This will ensure that the uh, the vehicles that are coming or the, from the minor road or uh, any uh, major road there will be constant passage from that from that road section from the any minor road or from the any major road so a constant movement of traffic is assumed uh, uh, in case of alternate traffic signal system 
then we have simply progressive system in simply progressive system in simply progressive system the idea is if a vehicle is showcasing green light so the next green light or the green light of the next traffic signal will depend upon the time offset of the green light of the previous traffic signal that is present at the previous intersection right so if green light uh, in the first intersection is at time t so after time t dash there will be green light in the next intersection likewise after time t plus t dash plus t dash the green light will be shown in the next intersection all right so the traffic light in the intersection is kind of fixed with respect to the traffic light of the precursor traffic signal right so if at time t it is showing red light in uh, traffic intersection number 1 then in the intersection 2 at time t plus t, t dash t dash is the offset time right offset time means let, let's say if at time t uh, there is red light here then at let's say after after 15 seconds there will be red light in the next intersection that is 15 seconds has been kept as a offset time right so after 15 seconds of uh, red light in the intersection 1 there will be red light here and then likewise with respect to uh, the traffic signal present at the intersection number 2 at 3 the red light will occur okay so an offset time is set with respect to the previous traffic signal and with respect to that the next uh, a traffic light is adjusted so these are kind of fixed traffic signal system that whose time is fixed with respect to the traffic signal that is present in the previous intersection right so it's a simply progressive type so at so first of all we will have red at 1 then we'll have red at 2 then we'll have red at 3 we'll have green at 1 then we'll have green at 2 then we'll have green at 3 so like this they uh, they work all right So in simply progressive traffic signal system, time schedule is made to permit and signal controlling green phase of traffic signal along a road are scheduled to work at a predetermined schedule. They are uh, they are scheduled to work at a predetermined schedule. Each signal may work as six signals. They have equal signal cycle length and are interlinked so as to operate at required time of offset. Right, so there is a fixed schedule in which these traffic signals will work with so respect to the other traffic signals, and their working is at a predetermined schedule. The working is at a fixed schedule. The schedule is fixed with respect to the traffic signal timing of the previous uh, traffic signal present in the study land. Right, so each traffic signal works as a fixed signal, but this fixed signal is with respect to the previous one previous traffic signal right let me just uh, like emphasis on this point one in a fixed traffic signal in a fixed traffic coordinated signal system in a fixed traffic uh, coordinated signal system if let's say this is uh, there are two fixed signals there are two fixed signals so in fixed signals we have fixed timing that is the red light will take place for 15 seconds this red light will be for 15 seconds this is fixed timing system right there is there is no inter interrelation between both the traffic signals that are present in the study land there is no relation right it will work independently it will work uh, the second will work independently likewise the green time let's say green time is for 20 seconds for both or we can vary like green time for the traffic signal at one is 20 seconds the green time for next one can be 15 seconds there is a fixed pattern in which both will work right 
while in simply progressive in simply progressive there is a dependency or interrelationship between both the traffic signals this means that at time equal to t right at time equal to t if there is a red light in traffic signal 1 so after time t dash so let's say after time t dash that can be 12 second that is kept as a offset time after time of after 12 seconds of what the red light at signal 1 was there will be red light in signal number 2 right so after green light in signal 1 once there is a green light at time equal to t there is a green light in signal 1 after 12 seconds of that there will be green light in signal number 2 right so there is a offset time in each of the traffic signal system right so when this happens this is called as the this is called as the simply progressive right i hope uh, the difference between fixed signals and simply progressive systems is clear so the advantage of this is that there is non stop or the idea is that there is a non stop movement of platoons of vehicles in this signal right so it is assumed that uh, uh, the time period taken by a vehicle to reach from one intersection to the next intersection is let's say 12 seconds okay so by the time if a vehicle is uh, having a green time so by the time it uh, moves to the next intersection it, uh, the vehicle will again face a green time so that is how this offset time is decided and the disadvantage is that this is the assumption that uh, the vehicle will move at that pace and uh, like the, the uh, he will find a clear uh, road section and likewise there will be no maneuvering in between the uh, in in the in between the study lens right everything is in perfect condition but that is not the scenario you may face uh, like a pedestrian inter intersection uh, between the vehicles may happen uh there might be n number of variables that can be involved because of which the in 12 seconds uh, the movement cannot be completed right so in that case the driver will face a red light right so especially this phenomena is very prominent in urban roads right uh, so that's why uh there is a frequency uh, or a chance that they may not happen <coughs> right then next we have flexible progressive traffic signal system next we have is the flexible progressive traffic signal system and basically it works on automatic automatic principle uh, we have sensors which uh, like which senses the amount of vehicles that are traveling on the road so the this automation varies the length of uh, signal cycles and signal phase at each signal light intersection and thus are more efficient right so based upon the uh, based upon the traffic that is moving in the in the intersection the uh, the red time and the green time varies right so based upon that the the cycle uh, cycle length will be adjusted by itself and uh, that is the most efficient way of managing the traffic all right so these are the different type of traffic coordination systems we have simultaneous we have alternative we have simply progressive and then we have the flexible progressive okay next we have the uh, buoyant for installation of traffic control signals so uh, this traffic control signals uh, will be installed in major street the single lane when we have 650 motor vehicles per hour and in major street with two or more lanes when the uh, traffic volume exceeds 800 motor vehicles per hour then we go for the traffic control signal system number of uh, motors approaching intersection on minor street should be at least 200 vehicles on single lane and 250 vehicles uh, in a two or more lane uh, if that is the scenario in minor street then again we are looking for the uh, management of traffic th through the installation of traffic signals okay so this was uh, the basic idea regarding the type of traffic signals that we have and the 
various ways in which these traffic signals are arranged. Okay, so I hope uh, the video was useful to you, right? Uh, and uh, this video was informative and provided you with all the necessary information. If they like, that is the scenario. If you found the video useful, uh, do consider uh, like subscribing to the channel, uh, like the video, and post your views in the comment section, right? Uh, do that. It really encourages us to make more uh, good videos. Okay. So that is all for the, this video as of now, right? Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.